I get a lot of people asking me now, how do you connect the goggles, the controller, to your Mini 3 Pro? And I'll be honest guys, it's a nightmare. <laughs> and also the other thing is, trying to put a video together is very difficult to try and show you what's going on inside the controller, the goggles. So I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I've got another guy called Sean, <laughs> who's in desperate measures he said, can you make an idiot's guide? Well, I will try my best, Sean. That's all I can say. Anyway, what I will say straight away is, guys, you will not be able to, well, as far as I know, you will not be able to do it on the RC controller itself. Uh, I don't know why, but you can't, I couldn't do it on that. So what you are gonna need, you're gonna either need your RCN1 or just your RC. Now I'm gonna be using my RC, it's the old version, so it just proves you can do it. I'm not gonna use my RCM one because I've got, I've got other drones on that and I do get a bit fed up to keep repairing drones to others. Oh, it's had some palaver, because not always does it go in. And I will say straight from the beginning, guys, it's a nightmare. <laughs> if you do it the first time, lucky you. But with me, it took me a couple of days uh, the first time, now I've, I've unpaired my RC, my Mini 3 Pro from my goggles because I wanted to fly the drone itself. And because Sean asked me, could I make a video, what I've done, I've reconnected it all. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go through the process, what you need. So I'm gonna get rid of my uh, RCM one, because you don't need that. What you will need, you will need this controller and you're gonna need your phone. So what you do guys, I'll just come out of this a minute. What I've done, I've done a screen save for you. I'll take you through the procedure of it. So what you do, you connect up your drone to your... So what I've done now, I have to do a voiceover because it just got so complicated trying to understand what you need to do when you're looking at your phone and the controls. So what I'm doing at the moment is going into my DJI app where it says connection guide. You just tap on the connection guide. Now there's gonna be some delays in this because I was trying to write all this down. And as you can see there, just above the connection guide, you can see the controller and the phone. This is why you need the RC or the RC M1 controller and your phone to do this because what it is you need to transfer or update information for your controller. Now at the moment my controller uh, wasn't updated for, for the new RC M1 updates. So what I'm doing at the moment is picking the right drone. Obviously what I'm going to be using is the Mini 3 Pro. Um, now obviously I'm just making notes here for my mate Sean. There's the uh, Mini 3 Pro, so you click on that. Now already it's saying there's a firmware version inconsistent, so I need to update it. That's what I'm saying. I think a lot of people are missing out this first stage of it, because if your controller is not updated to the new stuff, here's the new update, as you can see there, the new firmware available for the DJI RC Stroke M1 controller. Now I'm just using my RC controller uh, and you can see there, uh, I will click on the download. Here it goes. I'm starting to do the download now. It doesn't take that long, but you've got to make sure you've got everything up to date guys. Cause if, it, if you haven't, this way we're having all these problems. So this is like the first stage of doing your updates. So all we're doing at the moment is making sure that your RC controller has got the latest updates. So it's all updated, you clicked OK. You now, what you're doing now is you're actually pairing up your drone with your controller. Like I said before, you've got to start all from scratch. So at the moment, I'm pairing it up with my Mini 3 Pro. Now what it's doing at the moment is it's searching for the aircraft. Now I'm just about to turn on the drone itself. So as you can see, unable to connect to the aircraft. So now we go through the pairing procedure and you all know it, you press down the pair, 
you press down the on button on the drone itself for four seconds it will then connect usually it works straight away sometimes it doesn't always work straight away so there it's already been connected i'm already into the uh what you can see actually on the drone now we're not connected to the goggles yet guys we just paired up the rc with the mini 3 pro so we're back onto the screen again now what you can see now you can see the symbol of the goggles so that's got the update and then you, what you do, you don't press go fly, you press above it where it says connect. You just tap on that. Don't worry so much about what you can see on above the screen. Now, I haven't paired it properly yet. Um, you just got to worry about, you've got to connect it. So this is what you're going to get now. What you will need is obviously it comes with a cable. When you buy the goggles, it comes with a cable. You will then need another cable that connect that into that cable into the phone and once you've done that you just click OK and what it's doing then it's passing the information so what you haven't got to worry about now is the controller you can forget about the controller now you just turn that off put that away so what you're doing now is you're connecting the goggles to your phone now you know how to turn on the goggles it's the same procedure as you turn on the drone you just hold the button, double click it, it will go straight in. You press the OK. So now you're connected. Okay, so now once you've got the so once you've got the drone connected up with your goggles and your controller, um, you can turn it all off. Now I thought I'd just go through the quick process of how it all works. Now Another major problem when you're doing all this, if you've got glasses, <laughs> it's a bit of a bind as well because I'll have to keep taking my glasses off to do this. Anyway, the first thing you do, you just turn on your Mini 3 Pro. Okay, that's turned on. I then turn on the goggles. Same, same as the drone, you double click. And what you get, you'll get a a peep just to let you know it's been connected okay and what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna turn on the controller as well same process you just heard the peep then that's the controller right the buttons on so hopefully um, you can see what's going on now so what what I was going to do, I'm just going to take you through everything. So on the left hand side there, you can see the status. And we've got the Mini 3 Pro. Now if I wanted to switch that, I can go there. And then you've got a list of drones that you could choose. There's bound to be another update for the new Air 3. But at the moment, it's still got, just got the Mavic 3. So my Mini 3 Pro is already highlighted. So just bear that in mind, because if you haven't got that Mini 3 Pro on there, guys, none of this is going to work. Um, like I said before, we're just going to settings. I want to show you about um, the control. And if I press that, so you've got motion controller, you've got your gimbal. Now, if I wanted to, I could change that to normal follow me mode. But I think, personally, when you're doing anything, with the goggles it's better in FPV mode okay we come out of that we go down to the next one which is camera most important we press on that now like I said I'm doing 1080 if I wanted to you can see there the guidelines I could change that if I wanted to I'm not we've got the center point on and then if we go down to the bottom there the most advanced settings um, now I've got record, obviously that's not even highlighted, because that's, the reason why is because I'm recording, uh, it won't do nothing. But if it's, obviously if I wasn't recording, because I want to show you guys what's going on on the screen there, th they would be obviously bright white. So that gives you an idea, hopefully. Um, but like I said, if you've got none of this, if you haven't got the Mini 3 Pro, okay, an aircraft is sitting idle, okay, so... I'm going to turn it off now because it's obviously overheating. So hopefully, guys, 
that's given you a better chance because like I said it took me two days and I, the main problem I had I just couldn't get the Mini 3 Pro actually onto the goggles and that's all to do with, right at the beginning with the process of uh, hooking up your phone to your RC controller first so if you've got any you got any more uh, quicker ways of doing it that'd be fantastic I'm just going to turn off my uh, controller because obviously that's peeping now I'm going to turn off the goggles <laughs> so hopefully guys you'll be able to fly your mini free pro with your goggles no problem and it'd be great to hear from you did this help or it didn't help you at all <laughs> I've tried my best hopefully um, Sean if you're out there hopefully that's given you some clue how to do it it's it's not I don't understand why DJI didn't give you a, a nice little uh, booklet with a list of the procedure that you could do it but anyway I'm look so <laughs> hope that was helpful and I'll catch you on another video